Hey there, you guys. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wonderful world of dogs and share valuable tips for all pet lovers. Today, we have a fascinating topic to discuss, how the barking dog. Have you ever wondered why these barks are so varied and what they really mean? Well, you've come to the right place. Also, stay until the end for a surprise that can monetize your passion for dogs. Come on! Before we dive deep into the world of canine barking, I want you to connect with me emotionally. Who here does not feel touched by the cheerful barking of our four-legged best friend? These sounds have the power to make us smile, thrill, and even warn us of possible dangers. Let's explore this emotional connection as we continue. Now that we're all in the same emotional boat, let's dive into the heart of the question. Why is it important to understand dog barking? This understanding can help strengthen our bond with our furry friends and ensure their well-being. Let's start with the first half of the content. Here is the crucial point, the different types of barking of dogs and what they are trying to tell us. I will explain the warning signs, the contagious joy, and even the anxiety barks. Be aware, because this knowledge can greatly improve the life of your dog and yours as a tutor. 1. Types of Barking In this part of the video, we will explore the different types of barking that dogs emit and their respective characteristics. We will address alert barking, play barking, anxiety barking, and other common types. I will explain how to recognize each of them and what they can mean in different situations. 2. Warning Bark Warning barks are those that dogs use to warn about the presence of strangers, intruders, or unusual events. We will discuss how to identify these barks, which are usually more acute and frequent, and why it is important to pay attention to them to ensure the safety of your home. 3. Barking at play Playful barking is the joyful sounds that dogs emit when they are having fun. I will show examples of prank barking and how they can be distinct from alert or anxiety barking. This understanding will help you know when your dog is having the most fun. 4. Barking of Anxiety Anxiety is a common problem in dogs, and barking can be an indication of this emotional state. Let's discuss how to recognize anxiety barks, which are usually more persistent and accompanied by physical signs such as tremors. In addition, I will offer tips on how to calm an anxious dog. 5. Other Types of Barking There are many other types of barking that dogs can use to communicate, such as territorial barking, excitation barking, and pain barking. I'll give you an overview of these types of barking so you can better understand what your dog is trying to communicate in various situations. Let's go deeper into the different types of barking that dogs use to communicate. Territorial Barking these barks are issued when the dog is protecting its territory, whether the garden, house, or car. They are usually deeper and more persistent. I will explain how to identify these barks and why it is important to respect the territorial instinct of your dog. <laughs> Excitation barking When your dog is excited either because you are about to walk or because he sees your favorite toy, he can emit excitation barks. These barks are fast and frequent. I'll show you how to recognize these barks and how to harness that positive energy for healthy interaction. Pain barking. Pain barking is a sign that something is bothering your dog. They can vary in intensity depending on the severity of the problem. I will address how to identify pain barking and how to act quickly to help your dog feel better. 6. Appropriate Responses In this part, I will highlight the importance of responding properly to the different types of barking of your dog. For example, when your dog barks anxiously, how should you act to calm him down? And when he barks, how can you join in the fun? 
I'll provide practical tips to help you respond effectively. We will discuss the importance of responding appropriately to the different types of barking of your dog. Anxiety barking. When your dog barks anxiously, it is essential not to scold him, as this can increase his anxiety. Instead, I will provide tips on how to calm your dog, how to create a quiet environment, and how to gradually expose him to situations that make him anxious. Prank barking. When your dog is barking with happiness during a prank, it is a sign that he is having fun. I will show you how you can join the fun, interacting with your dog in a positive and stimulating way. Other specific barks. For each specific bark type, I will offer guidance on the appropriate response. For example, how to deal with territorial barking without increasing aggression, or how to identify the cause of pain barking and seek veterinary help if necessary. Now it's your turn. Scroll to the comments section and tell us your stories about your furry friends barking. We want to hear all the adventures and experiences you had with your barking dogs. Continuing our journey through the language of barking, we will explore further. I will give you tips on how to interpret these sounds and how to properly respond to your dog's different barks. We will discuss how dogs use barking as a way to communicate with other dogs and their owners. I will explain how barking can be used to draw attention, express joy, and even to start interaction with other dogs. Warning Barking Continuing the discussion about warning barking, I will address the different nuances of these barking. I will explain how alert barking can vary depending on the intensity of the perceived threat and how dogs also use body language to track these barks. Understanding Barking this topic will cover how dogs can use barking to express understanding or recognition of commands or familiar situations. I'll show you how intonation and the frequency of barking can indicate that your dog is following what you say. Demand barking. Some dogs develop the habit of barking to request attention, food, or play. I will provide strategies for dealing with this behavior and how to train your dog so that he communicates more effectively and calmly. Silent alert barking. Some dogs emit silent barking, known as silent alert barking, in which they open their mouth, but no sound is emitted. I will explain why this occurs and how to interpret these nonverbal signals. Before we say goodbye, I have an extra tip that might surprise you. Did you know that sound can be a powerful tool to calm an anxious dog? Stay tuned for this valuable tip. In this part of the video, I will delve into the extra tip I mentioned earlier about using sound to calm an anxious dog. Here are the details. Sound therapy for dogs. The extra tip I want to share involves using sound therapy to help calm anxious dogs. I will explain how soft sounds, like classical music or nature sounds, can have a relaxing effect on dogs, reducing stress and anxiety. I'll cover why this technique works and how to choose the right sounds for your dog. Introduction Techniques In addition, I will provide information on how to gradually introduce sound therapy to your dog. This will include tips on how to select the proper volume and duration of the sound, as well as the importance of observing your dog's reaction during the initial exposure. Beneficios Duraduros Budestacar como a terapia sonora pod ter beneficios a longo prazo para o mestar do seu chao, ajudando o a se sentir mais calmo e relaxado em situacos estressantes. Como Tempestad's OU Separkeo. And speaking of tips, if you are a pet lover like us and are always looking for valuable guidance, do not forget to subscribe to our sister channel, The Pet for Tips. There, you will find a ton of useful information to take care of your dog and other pets. Well, folks, we come to the end of this exciting episode about how dogs bark. I hope you have learned something new and now feel more connected to your furry. Don't forget to give it a like, 
share this video with your four-legged friends, and of course subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about pets. And as for the monetization surprise I mentioned at the beginning of the video, stay tuned for next week, where I will reveal all the details. Until then, you guys.